So when I look at a case like this with uh, three teeth requiring direct restorations, now same idea. So this is going to take me a fair amount of time. And the way I think about it is to restore the most distal tooth because as the patient's getting tired with rubber dam and isolation on, I usually have to fight them to keep open and if I had a bite block in, oftentimes it's becoming uncomfortable a couple hours into the appointment. So I'll try to finish the most distal tooth first and work my way forward. So in this case, I'll be restoring this tooth here, placing my matrix band, finishing that, moving on one by one, working my way forward because I have the best access for the one in the front. And again, I don't like to do them all with the matrix band at the same time because I to get the perfect result, you know, I really want to make sure the contact is under my control. I want to make sure the contour is under my control. And finally, I want to take a 12 blade right down here and finish this margin. No matter how good of an adaptation you get, you're going to have a little bit of flash there. If I can take a 12 blade to this easily instead of having to uh, go between the proximal surface of the restored two teeth, it's a huge advantage. And even with a finishing strip, I can get down there and really polish that more conveniently so overall it saves me more time in the finishing steps to do it this way rather than try to do step by step on every tooth simultaneously. <laughs>